right, so big win for Spirit today. Um, I'm joined by Nicola Carey, captain of Spirit, alongside player of the match, Mahika Gore and Lindsay Patel. So Nicola, big win. You must be happy to be up and running in the tournament and with the bonus point in the bag. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Um, yeah, it's always nice to um, start off with a win. I thought really good team performance, uh, led by this one up front. Um, yeah, really, 12-3 overs in the power play is exceptional. Um, sorry. Um, we know, you know, tiny boundaries, but I thought you bowled really well with the conditions. And then I thought all our bowlers actually did really well. And, um, yeah, followed up with the, the bat with some nice cameos there to get the job done in the end. And um, Mahika, you said in your interview earlier that you had your eye on getting DeAndre Jot in as a wicket. And today you picked up that. That must have felt pretty good in your first favourite game. Yeah, I think I remember I was getting interviewed before we left Dubai um, and I was asked who I wanted to get. So I said Didi because obviously she's amazing, like she's quite scary as well to bow to. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm uh, quite happy with that and quite happy to get our first win as well. Yeah, and Lindsay, you've joined up with Team Spirit this year for your first outing with Fairbreak. How has it been for you so far? Uh, it's been a lovely outing with the group and all the girls are amazing and Getting to know one another is, is a real cool um, experience as well and playing with stars from around the world is also a bonus so it's been a great experience so far. And so Nicola, you got one up on the Barmy Army in the third place playoff this year so you just carried on in the same kind of vein. How has the team gelled coming back together again? Yeah, I think the team's gelled really nicely. We've got, you know, the core group is still together and then we've got some new faces um, like these two um, that have joined us and fitted in seamlessly. And, um, yeah, I think we've got a really nice, well-balanced squad and um, hopefully we can take some confidence out of this win um, leading into the next few games. And uh, Mahika, you are coming off the back of playing under-19s earlier on this year. How does this differ to playing in a tournament like that? Um, I think the under-19 World Cup was, like, obviously it's a World Cup, so... A lot more nerves, um, but like over here, obviously you're playing with people that you've never played with before, which is super exciting. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed myself today, and I hope that we can continue this for the rest of the tournament. And uh, Lindsay, what's been the highlight for you so far? Oh, traveling around Hong Kong. Like we've been, I've been walking around. Um, when I got here, I like took a took a little trip into the town, and it's been cool to see the culture around here, and it's been a good experience. And so between now and the next game, Nicola, what is the plan as a team, other than obviously get food first? <laughs> yeah, after that, well, we've actually got, I think, a day off or a couple of days off. I'm sure maybe the coaches might squeeze a training session in there. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll have a word with Damien, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, maybe the girls can get out and explore a little bit of Hong Kong, um, get some tips <laughs> off Nancy over there. She's obviously been, um, yeah, having a look around. So I think a bit of downtime and then we'll get back into it in a couple of days. And I think we have some questions from the floor. Okay. Hi, Gumesh has a question for Mahika. Gumesh, go ahead. Why don't you unmute yourself and ask the question? Yeah. Uh, hi. Congrats on a win today, Mahika. First, uh, and I just wanted to ask, you spoke about, you know, getting the wicket of Deandra Dorton and uh, because obviously she's a big player and all that, but what was your mindset or approach at the top of the mark? Like, what were you thinking when you were... Uh, and are at the top of your mark bowling to the Lauren Winfield and the end today? Uh, I think obviously they are quite big names but at the end of the day you're bowling to the same set of stumps, the same bat so I was just trying to keep it super simple because in the past I have gotten quite carried away um, so yeah just trying to keep it simple stick to my strengths which is top of off um, and yeah thankfully I executed it today was that bouncer a pre-planned setup of sorts or uh, is it just an instinctive thing that happened today? Uh, yeah, we thought that obviously the pitch was quite bouncy today, so uh, might as well use it to our advantage. Uh, just one more to carry, if I may. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. How, how big a luxury is to, I know, have a... Uh, such a tall and left-arm seamer who could swing the ball both ways <laughs> within the bowling department and then to have someone like Sarah Price, Dunkley and Chantam as your top three. Like, what kind of luxury is that for you as a captain? Yeah, I think I've hit the jackpot um, here. Like, there's, I said it at the um, coin toss, it's pretty unique to have a big, tall left-arm bowler um, in the women's game. There's, I don't, I can't name any going around really. So, 
um, yeah, to have Mahika in our team is a huge luxury. Um, taking the first few overs in the power play, really difficult times to bowl, but swings them in beautifully and coming from that height and on that wicket is like incredibly difficult to play. Um, so good luck to the rest of the batters. And then it's obviously really nice on the flip side um, with our batting lineup to have Dunks at the oh, Dunks at the top there and um, Bryce as well. They were really solid for us last year. And then even having Jeans come in as well um, at three who wax them. So I think we've got a really nice, um, nicely balanced team. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the rest of the group can do um, going forward. Thank you and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Any more, Any more questions? Kalyani, would you have anything to ask? Uh, yeah, just one for uh, Mahika. Uh, hi, my Kalyani from Women's Freak Zone. Uh, we've seen how much uh, your mother is involved in your great game and how she enjoys um, your bowling. Uh, we've seen it in the Under-19 World Cup. Uh, do you think she must have uh, enjoyed uh, your today's um, bowling spell? And, uh, can you tell us uh, how are the celebrations going to be like in your household? Yeah, I think for the World Cup, obviously, my mom and my dad came over to watch. Um, and they were like, half the time my dad was dancing in the stands. So <laughs> I'm sure he'd be quite happy. But um, yeah, she wanted to come over here to watch as well. Um, but unfortunately, that couldn't happen. So yeah, I'm sure. I hope she'll be happy. Like, she should be happy. <laughs> um, yeah. Congratulations on today, and can I have one for uh, Nicola, if I may? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, uh, Nick, this, uh, first of all, congratulations on the fair break, and also congratulations on the WNCL title. Uh, would you think that uh, the, what you have seen in Australia with the close matches in this WNCL, and now you are seeing in the fair break, the number of franchise cricket is increasing, uh, a number of participation is increasing, Yeah, I think yeah, I think Australia have done it really well with the big bash, um, you know, and, and now we're seeing all these other little T Twenty leagues pop up around the world, which I think is is really good for the women's game. I think, you know, I look at India and with the WPL and their side is just getting better and better, and I'm I'm actually a little bit scared to see where they're going to be at in the next um, I don't know. I reckon in five years' time they're going to be absolutely dominating, but that's what you want to see. You want to see you know international cricket being um, competitive and. Um, as much as I like seeing Australia win, I'm sure everyone else is probably sick of it. So, um, you know, we, we, we actually do want to see um, all the other nations around the world getting better and better and um, creating those really high quality matches around the world. So I think these leagues and fair break is a really good example of that. Um, getting as many people exposed to, um, you know, playing with um, good players, you know, international players and helping them get better. And I think that's only going to grow the game globally. Uh, thank you and all the best for the entire tournament. Thank you. We're joined by Barmy Army captain Lauren Winfield Hill alongside Kavisha Kamari. Uh, Lauren, not the result you wanted today, but what was it like to get out there for your first game at the helm of the Barmy Army side? Yeah, it was good. I think, you know, we, we didn't get the result we came for, but I think there's so many positives to take from, from that game today. I think we were just slightly short with the bat, but we showed. You know, lots of really good qualities in the second innings with with taking six wickets. I thought we fielded really well. Um, yeah, and loads of positives to, to sort of take forward. And Kavisha, impressive performance from you today. Um, they can't see it on the film, but awarded a box of <laughs> lovely biscuits that we're all eyeing up <laughs> by your coach and side. What was it like for you returning to Fairbreak today? It's wonderful. Always being part of Fairbreak and getting this opportunity. It's always nice to be back. And Lauren, what's it like for you to join up with the Fairbreak family? Yeah, it's been awesome. You know, we've we've gelled really nicely as a group. We've, you know, we've only had a couple of training sessions, but I think the way we came out and came together today, um, you know, it's sort of like you've you've spent a couple of weeks together and it's only been a couple of days. So it's great. It's it's great to learn about new people, new players, share experiences. Um, I think this is that's what this opportunity is all about. Um, and it's you know it's great to unearth some some talent from from various countries and we saw some monster hitting from you today how good did it feel to launch some of those sixes yeah it was it was a tricky wicket actually it was sort of just being really decisive on when they missed their length and went too full was to to sort of just give it full mashings and and thankfully a, f a few came out of the screws but um 
yeah, I'd have liked to have, have made a bigger contribution, but I was pleased with sort of getting the team off to a good start. There was a moment we were worried for the clock on the pavilion, whether <laughs> it was just going to be shattered. <laughs> Um, but Kavisha, obviously you know Mahika pretty well. Um, how impressive was she today also for the spirit? She played really well. The way she was bowling, she was taking the she was utilizing the pitch a lot. And if you notice it was a funky wicket today. Like there were a bit of odd bounces and some were just staying and coming. It was like a spongy wicket and she took the full advantage of it. And Lauren, obviously you watched Fair Break last year and saw some of these rising stars that you don't necessarily get to play against. What was it like to get here and sort of see people you might not have any particular gauge on yet yeah i said to michael bates our coach after our first training session i said there's so much talent here you know we're we're so excited about this this barmy army group i think you know like i said we've got some some great depth with our bowling and with our batting and it's always nice to see you know new faces people that you haven't seen before you know like cavi played beautifully today under high pressure as well um obviously with a couple of wickets down but yeah from the moment i arrived i you know i said to to Beatty that there's some some massive talent here and it's always nice to see yeah and i think we have a few questions Gomez, would you like to ask your question <laughs> <laughs> The table is yeah, talking. Uh, yeah. I'm going to return today, uh, guys. Um, hi, this is Gomesh from India. First, how are you going to return today? Hi, Lauren. How are you? Uh, uh, first, I was being this tournament, uh, and um, uh, what I wanted to ask specifically is the way you hit through the line. I know against Mike. Uh, uh, how are you approaching her? Because there were some that were swinging away. There were some that were bouncing a bit extra. So what was the what is the kind of approach that you are trying to uh, you know take on to her Yeah I was just trying to um I think when you bowled a really hard length on that surface it just sort of jumped off the off the pitch a little bit so it was probably about respecting those good balls and then anything that was sort of over pitched um I was going to look to to fully commit to and and hit down the ground and you know it was it was one of them surfaces where you almost have to decide which one you want to go after and and which one you want to you know just just respect really so that was my plan as soon as she missed her length i was looking to capitalize and you know thankfully i got a few out of the screws which was which was nice how long have you been waiting to hit it's such a start you have not got a lot of opportunity to get on the field lately so how long have you been waiting to you know play the shots on the field Yeah, I think you you prepare all the time to pl- and be ready to play and I think obviously when you get the opportunity I think that's the beauty of women's cricket now is there's games all year round in in various competitions so even if you're not getting a go internationally there's there's plenty of cricket out there to be played so I think that's the beauty of it you never you never go too long without a game um and like I said I've always been preparing as if I was going to play so I, I I sort of constantly feel ready when I get that opportunity just one last from me uh last month you were commentating in the WPL and uh you know now you are playing up so how has been that you know mix of experience uh between commentating and playing yeah i mean it's one of those things isn't it where you'd obviously rather be playing but if you can't play you you may as well talk about it so um it was a great experience it was a fantastic competition to be involved in one way or another um you know i love the game i love sort of studying the game talking about the game so um it's actually a really good way to constantly keep learning i think is is to watch games unfold and passages of play and um yeah i th- i really enjoy the the sort of contrast between the commentary stuff and playing and it i feel like it always keeps my brain sort of engaged in problem solving and tactics and things like that so it was a really cool experience to to do that and and obviously then quickly get the opportunity to to play some games as well. Amazing. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you both for joining us. Um we'll let you go get some food, get some rest. We're going to go and tell the man with the clock to get a net up in front of it <laughs> when Lauren Winfield Hill returns to the field. Thank you both so much and well played. Thank you. Thank you.